people ask where we got the name Green Hat for our gin, um, it comes from uh, Washington's most famous bootlegger. Um, during Prohibition, of course, uh, on Capitol Hill, uh, Congress was enforcing on the entire nation um, uh, uh, 13 years of, of uh, dry, and at the same time, that like 70, 75 percent of congressmen and senators were uh, voting every year in support of prohibition. Um, there was an in-house bootlegger um, for Congress, a man by the name of George Cassidy, who was known as the man in the green hat. Uh, wheat's very good for white spirits because it doesn't spin off a lot of additional flavors. That's one reason you don't see too many wheat whiskeys. Uh, this particular wheat, this sort of one of the main local wheats, uh, is good because it's uh, especially low protein. And that's good because it means that uh, those proteins aren't in there uh, sort of generating some additional flavors when the yeast start you know, acting on the, uh, on the mash. It's a fairly fast fermentation. And you can feel it's a slightly warm fermentation. Um, so a little faster, a little warmer than is usual for a, uh, a, a regular brewery. Uh, what we end up with at the end of that six days is uh, uh, sort of a thin porridge at, with about 12% alcohol. And when we're making gin, we want the, the base spirit to be very clean and not fight with the botanicals that we're adding in. These are the botanicals that we uh, use to, um, to make our gin. Uh, and basically, uh, the botanicals are the flavorings that give gin its distinctive uh, character. Um, the one that is essential uh, that you have to have in order to call it gin is juniper berries. Um, that's the sort of tiny character that uh, gins have. Part of a growing trend of craft distilleries, New Columbia Distillers was founded in Northeast D.C. in 2011. Housed in a 3,500 square foot warehouse, two miles from Union Station off New York Avenue, it's where former attorney Michael Lowe and his son-in-law John Uselton produced D.C.'s first gin since Prohibition. From fermenting and distilling to labeling and bottling, the entire production cycle of Green Hat Gin takes place inside the distillery. Green Hat Gin is available in more than 50 restaurants, bars, and stores in Washington, D.C.